One of the best parts about my job as the Library and Media Specialist here at Exonia is ordering new books and adding new books to the collection. We recently got a box of new books here in the library and I thought I'd give you a little peek at some of those that are available. These books are going to be available for checkout uh, as soon as you see this. We'll be putting them up on the uh, bookshelves for students to check out. All right, first we've got a pretty fun series called Animals Head to Head. Uh, lion versus tiger, alligator versus crocodile, and shark versus killer whale. So for students who are interested in learning about those animals, uh, those would be some great books. Um, let's see here. We've got some new books uh, involving a great character named Bear. Uh, Bear's new friend. Bear's loose tooth. Bear wants more. Bear says thanks and Bear Feels Sick. We've got a new Judy Moody chapter book. This is book number 12 in this series, Judy Moody, Mood Martian. This one looks fun, My Big Fat Zombie Goldfish. Students are often very interested in creating things. So we've got um, several new paper airplane books for students to check out Not Quite So Easy Origami and the Kid's Guide to Paper Airplanes. Um, several books on robots and how robots do various jobs. For some re reason we were missing uh, book number two in the Harry Potter series, so we've got a new copy of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This also looks interesting. Um, Great comment on the front of this book by the author of Big Nate. We've got a lot of Big Nate books in the library. This is called Life of Zarf, The Trouble with Weasels. Uh, let's see, we've got several Squish books in our library. These are graphic novels. Students like reading, and a lot of kids call these comic books, but they're actually uh, officially called graphic novels. So we've got a couple of new books in the Squish series. These are ones we did not have before. Uh, one of my favorite authors and illustrators is Graham Bass, and we've got this book called The Water Hole, and he just has some fantastic illustrations. And you probably can't see very good. Let me give you a little bit of a close-up here. Look at how fantastic those jaguars are uh, in this image. I didn't do my homework because, hmm, I wonder what's in this book. All right, fun new picture book called Anything is Possible. Only those who dream learn to fly, it says on the back. So uh, anything is possible. We've got a new Fly Guy book called Fly Guy and the Frankenfly. Let's see. This picture book looks fun. Big Mean Mike. Warning, do not open this book. I won't be opening it. I'll let a student do it. Um, this is a great book that I've seen in the past. It's called Taking a Bath with the Dog and Other Things That Make Me Happy. We're going to do a little project with this with first graders um, regarding this book soon, so stay tuned. Back in September, uh, we celebrated Dot Day, so we've got a new copy of the book The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds and another book that he uh, wrote and illustrated called Ish. This is a really neat book um, called The Fantastic Flying Books of Mr. Morris Lessmore. And this book comes with uh, an iPad app or iPod app, also iPhone app, that actually uh, brings this story to life. So kids will get a chance to play around with that as well. Um, let's see what else we've got. We've got a couple of books in a series involving Princess Pink in the land of fake believe. We've got a number of girls uh, who can't get enough of princess books. But a couple of other things I want to show you. Uh, we've got some great superhero books. We've got Batman vs. Catwoman. Let's see here. This is a neat one. School Days Around the World. So if you're wondering what school is like in other parts of the world, um, this is a great book. All right, we've got some new Lego Star Wars, Lego Hero Factory books. Um, 
Got Angry Birds, Star Wars. Here's a few more Lego Star Wars books, Return of the Jedi, Revenge of the Sith. Um, and another one of my favorite book characters, uh, Mr. Putter and Tabby. These books are written and illustrated by, um, actually written by Cynthia Ryland and illustrated by Howard, uh, Arthur Howard. Uh, Mr. Putter and Tabby Walk the Dog and Mr. Putter and Tabby Pick the Pears. These are probably my two favorite books in this series, so I would certainly encourage kids to check those out. So, lots of new books in the library. Hopefully you're, you guys get a chance to uh, take a look at some of these, check them out, and uh, we'll see you again soon when the next new book order comes in.